Well, hi there, and welcome to this video on linear graphs in Excel 2007. So here I have some data, X data and Y data, and I want to plot a graph with this data. So if I go to the Insert menu and choose a scatter plot, and choose a scatter plot with only markers, there's no line joining the dots. Here's the default Excel graph. Now very often the default graph isn't the correct graph. So what I usually do is select data and delete what Excel has automatically drawn. Now I can add in my own data, choose the X values, in this case concentration, and the Y values, in this case absorbance. Okay, in this way I can add in other series of data if I want to. The series tab here isn't necessary because there's only one set of data, so I can delete that. Likewise, the grid lines can be deleted. The next thing is to format the data points. I now want to add in some extra features to this graph. If I look here, when the chart is highlighted, the chart tool menus become uh, available. Design, layout and format. In the Layout menu, we can choose the uh, X axis and Y axis uh, titles. So I choose Axis Titles and insert my X axis and my Y axis. I can double click on these and enter in the text. So my X axis is Concentration and the Y axis in this case is Absorbance. It's good practice to make graphs black and white proof, or make the dots as dark as possible. So in this case I'm going to go to Format Data Series. In Marker Options, I'm not going to change it, but just to show there are a variety of marker options available. In Marker Fill, I'm going to change it to Solid Fill, and choose Black. Line Color doesn't need changing because there's no line. Similarly with Line Style, Marker line color, this is the color around the marker, so I'll change that to black, and the rest of the options don't need to be changed. So now I have a graph with clearly visible uh, points um, that will photocopy well. Let's try a slightly more complicated graph, and in this case I'm going to look at at rescaling the axis. So first of all, I've got some temperature rate constant data, and this is where I'm going to draw an Arrhenius plot, the natural log of the rate constant K versus 1 over T. So first of all, I'm just going to do some calculations so I can get my natural log of K and 1 over T values. So now I have my array of data, so I want to draw my plot. So again, I go to Insert, Scatter, choose the uh, graph marker points with outline, add in my series as before. So 1 over t is my x-axis, lin k is my y-axis. OK, I can format this as before by removing the series label because there's only one graph, and removing the grid lines. You'll note here there's a lot of white space on this graph. So if I look at my minimum value as 0 0.00103. So all points before 0 0.001 are unnecessary. So I can right click on the axis, click on format, format axis, and click on minimum and maximum and change these values. So my minimum value can be 0 0.001. And my maximum value, if I look at the data, can be 0 0.0015. This means that the graph is spread out across the maximum area. I can format my points as before. And now I want to add a trend line. So if I right click on a data point, click Add Trend Line, I'm choosing a linear trend line. I'm going to display equation on chart and display the R squared value on the chart. And here they are. Sometimes the a value of zero appears here, and this is because the, the value might be very small. So it's worthwhile in those instances to format the trend line label and change the number format from general to scientific. 
If it's in scientific, it'll give the number in scientific notation. That's not necessary here, because the numbers are quite large. Finally, we look at regression analysis. To install uh, the data analysis tab, we can click on the Excel menu, click on Excel options and choose add-ins. I've already got it installed, but you can click on the analysis tool pack and click go and then make sure the analysis tool pack checkbox is ticked. Now in the data tab, we can choose data analysis. In the window that pops up, choose regression and press OK. And we enter in our data pretty much like we entered in for drawing a graph. So I'll enter in my Y values, my X values, choose the confidence level of 95%. I haven't highlighted the label so I don't tick that box. Click on the output range, click in the white space very importantly, and then click somewhere in the graph where there's lots of space. Okay, so regression spits out this array of data. The first thing to do is check that the, you have selected the right data by making sure that the slope and intercept reported in the equation of the line match the coefficients reported in the summary output. We can then calculate our error in the slope and error in the intercept by subtracting in each case the coefficient value from the lower or upper 95% value or vice versa. It doesn't matter, we get the plus or minus value in each case. So to get the error in the slope, I'll say equals to the slope value minus, for example, the lower 95% value. If I had chosen the upper 95%, I'd get the same number. I can repeat that for error in intercept. It's my error in my coefficient for the intercept minus the lower 95% value. Remember, wherever you can, to report the units for any number that you calculate. And that's it.